Do you see this look, ladies and gentlemen? The look of pure disgust. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. reason why I'm disgusted is I just made an entire eight-minute long video. Just as I was whipping the book War is a Racket into action to end, I ran out of recording time, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, I had to delete a bunch of crap, and I'm going to now uh, blow V8 madly and try to remember what I said last time. Okay, let's start again. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounge with Lisa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm acting this way. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Okay. I wanted to touch base with you and let you know, A, I'm done with work. B, I've been done with work for a while. C, I have a game plan for the weekend. I am going to do Pass Weird. I think I'm going to call it Pass Weirder because I've added some more... I guess, categories, which would be like uh, uh, song titles and things like that. It's a fast-moving game. Not everybody likes it, and I it's okay. I will not be crushed if you don't come over. I don't think it'll cause me to clutch pearls and cry. Please come to my game. Okay, I've recovered quickly. Now, in all seriousness, I did want to let you know that Peter Pot NL420, it is his birthday weekend. He is going live at some point. I don't know his game plan entirely, but if it so happens that you're at my gig and you get notification of Peter Pot NL420, I just like saying that. Peter Pot NL420 to the information booth, please. Okay, sorry. I'm very silly tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just fair warning. If you get a notification that he's gone live, ditch me like the wind and go over to him because, honestly, it's more important what he's doing. And not only my games, a lot of people tune in later for them. So, I won't be crushed if I don't have, like, a huge crowd or whatever, uh, you know, for this, because I know people do watch it later, uh, especially the trivia-based ones, but even this, they'd like to watch and see me totally have meltdowns and freak out trying to describe words that I do not study, which brings me to this. <clears throat> I have, I don't know how many now, 65 or so words, person, place, thing, some are phrases, some are song titles, some are idioms, which, you know, it's little sayings and things. So, and those are worth extra points. And I, all I do is just grab a bunch, set a timer for a minute, and I rapidly start to give clues so you can guess the answer. But I can't say the obvious, and I have to just know in my own mind that I can't say the obvious. For example, if, I, if one of the things was, um, oh, uh, I don't know, socks. If the clue was socks or the answer was socks, I probably wouldn't say uh, this is something that you put on your feet to keep warm. I'd keep feet out of it. You know what I mean? I just have to kind of self-censor. Oh, that ought to be interesting. So that's the nature of the game. And like I said, people just come over to me later. They don't have to be there necessarily live, live. Um, so, yeah, at any rate, that is the deal. If because Peter, it's his birthday, and it's very special, and they're promoting, they're bringing awareness to the uh, skin condition and that kind of thing. And we're going to do all that the next weekend, as I mentioned earlier in that video, ladies and gentlemen. One moment, I must get a drink of coffee. You couldn't even tell I was gone now, could you? So, um, yeah, and we're going to move his celebration to the next weekend, the one after this. I think that was all, and then I launched into a story about my brother and sister because I went over this way and said, oh, there is the, the garden shed, which used to be a playhouse, or it might have been a combination of that was over at Mother's house. And um, let me just do this for a minute. I'll just show you this while I blather on incessantly. Yes, that was a little playhouse, and also they stored, I guess, some gardening materials in there, but Jill and Blaine were in there playing once, and my brother was a total monster. He was hideous. He was terrible. He was just a little brat. And evidently picked up a shovel, and it sailed through the air, and it hit a piece of, um, a pane of glass that was leaning in there, shattered wildly, and little bits of it went into Jill's foot. And, of course, she screamed and went into the house. I was not born yet. I was, my brother was 10, my sister was 14, almost 15, when I came into the world. So this is when they were younger. And then another time, the monstrous brother that he was back then, um, she was hiding from him because he was being a pitta, no doubt. And she went under her bed thinking that he wouldn't find her. Well, he found her in the most interesting way, ladies and gentlemen. He took her baton, you know, that you twirl, 
and just went under went whoomp, 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 like on the floor, you know what I'm saying? Like under, you like my sound effect. And just, you know, to flush her out of there. And he certainly did when he hit her in the head with a baton. This is the delightful brother who's actually now we're very close, but um, he pretty much tried to kill me when I was a little kid. And then he did save my life another time, so that was good. He made up for it all. When I say try to kill me, ladies and gentlemen, that's a figure of speech. He really didn't try to kill me. He was just... He wasn't very pleasant as a youth. Let me just put it that way. But he's made up for it in leaps and bounds now. So, okay, now that I've bored you to tears with the stories of my past about a garden shed that doesn't even exist anymore, I think I'll sign off. And I'm making this less time than it was before. So, join me Saturday and Sunday if you would like to at 2.30 Eastern, like we always do, in the Belly of the Beast, 2.30 Eastern, here in the Belly of the Beast, my fond nickname for the United States of America. And, of course, I live in Pennsylvania, so that's Eastern Standard Time. And um, we can play Password rapidly. Lounging with Lisa. I'm going to become very serious now. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is indeed a racket. Do not take my word for it. Just ask General Smedley Butler. What's in here? What do you know? It's my mailing address, ladies and gentlemen, for my postcard drive that I'm having. I don't know. Is it rude to ask people to send you postcards? I've heard... I've not been told this, but somebody else, I don't know, was told that you shouldn't ask people to send you stuff, but I thought it's a postcard. So if you find it to be rude or horrible or an inconvenience or you think that I'm somehow have all hideous motives or something, don't bother. It's okay. I just thought it'd be fun to do this. I have something in mind when I get them, and um, we'll go from there. Okay. Love you, so I really do. Bye-bye now.